Well, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to Dublin, ahead of what can only be described as the rematch of the year. November 25th at the Three Arena, live and exclusive on DAZN around the world. The undisputed super lightweight world championship. Of course, the champion, Chantel Cameron, against Katie Taylor. Last time around, my opinion, one of the greatest atmospheres we've witnessed in so many years of, of promoting shows around the world. It was incredible. Katie Taylor suffered her first professional defeat at the hands of an outstanding Chantel Cameron. This time around, whether people like to talk about it or not, legacies on the line, belts on the line, careers may be on the line. A must-win fight for both as we look forward to an outstanding schedule coming up on the zone. Of course, this Saturday, Jai Opatai, the number one cruiserweight in the world, defends his IBF and Ring Magazine Championship against Jordan Thompson. Next week, a breathtaking fight. Lee Wood against Josh Warrington for the WBA Featherweight World Championship. Beyond that, of course, Jack Cattrall against Jorge Linares, Rocky Hernandez against Oshaki Foster, Joe Caldina defending in Monaco, Diego Pacheco, a homecoming event in Los Angeles, Dublin, November 25th, and of course, upcoming, Sonny Edwards against Bam Rodriguez in a fantastic unification December 16th, and the hope as well that we can have an announcement very soon for one of the fights of the year between Devin Haney and Regis Progre. But here to talk about this fight today and pre-sale yesterday was bigger than the last one. Another priority sale today and general sale tomorrow for the blockbuster, November 25th. We're going to go to both teams and both trainers first of these outstanding fighters. Jamie, we'll start with you as the defending champions team. Um, just a magical night last time. I remember standing in the ring, you all felt like you'd done enough to win and, of course, unanimous decision. You hoped you'd get the decision, you got the decision. Euphoria from the team, an outstanding night, but back to business November 25th. Yeah, it was an um, unbelievable night for us as a team. And uh, as you said, the atmosphere was phenomenal. Um, there was one, one scorecard, which was a draw, which was, was, I thought was a bit too close. But other than that, you know, I couldn't complain. And um, yeah, we've, we've got to sort of come, come back and do it all again. There was talk leading into this fight about 135, talk about potentially doing the fight in the UK. I know that, you know, in an ideal scenario, you do the fight back in England, Northampton, but you've experienced it now. She was very calm and collected in, in that ring walk and that performance. We expect a better Chantel Cameron this time around? I think fr from the experience of being here last time and also the, the fact that, you know, going into the first fight, even though we was confident, you, you're going in against Katie Taylor in Dublin. So you don't really know what to expect, but we know what to expect now. And watching the fight back, me and Chantelle have sat together and analysed, and we know that she can perform better than she did last time. So, um, so I'm pretty sure Katie is going to perform better than last time as well. You know, um, as you mentioned before, um, it's probably at the stage in her career now where it's on the line if she loses it loses this fight, which, um, which is going to give her that extra sort of motivation in training to, to bring out the best in her. So I believe this fight is going to be better than the first fight and, um, and we're going to have to up our game and, and make sure we're better, which I'm sure we will be. Chantel talked in the build-up about you know, the respect she has for, for Katie out of the ring, but inside those ropes, no respect, looking to almost destroy her in this fight, the words. And Do you expect a more spiteful Chantel Cameron? In this, in this fight, obviously with the confidence as well, but the belief that she can stop her in this fight. Yeah, I think with, with the experience of the first fight and that confidence which you get from, from putting in a performance like that and knowing and anal analysing, like I just said, that she, she's got more in her, she's got more gears, gears in her, then, uh, then I do expect a better performance and, and she expects it of herself. So, so I think you've actually done us a favour coming back to Dublin because, you know, obviously we'd have liked a homecoming, even neutral territory, but I think it's, it's sort of stoked the flame for her and made her give her that extra determination what she needs. Ross, we know um, you're not always a man of many words, but we can't help but talk about the importance of this fight. And I know that some teams in camp say it's just another fight, but, you know, the questions from the boxing world and the media will say absolute must win. And I appreciate every fight's must win, but coming off this defeat, 
everything on the line November 25th? Yeah, it doesn't, it's definitely must win. I mean, it's obviously the biggest fight of her career at this stage, so, um, you know, it doesn't get any bigger than this, and, you know, she knows that, and, uh, you know, I'm more confident this time around, so we're looking forward to it. What gives you that, that confidence? I know that obviously last time it didn't go your way, but it was a unanimous decision for Chantel Cameron. Um, and also the situation of her belief going into this fight, her freshness as well. But you and Katie coming off that defeat do seem to have more confidence going into this fight this time around. I know Katie can, you know, perform a lot better. I mean, I think Stevie Wonder could have watched the fight and told you that she wasn't at her best. So, you know, when she's 100% healthy, strong, and which she's going to be, I'm very confident that she could be anybody in the world. We expect a more confident, more aggressive, perhaps, Chantel Cameron in this fight. First one was a good one. I yep. think we get an even better one, November 25th. I think you definitely get a better fight from both sides. Definitely. Defending champion, Chantel Cameron, welcome back to Dublin. I know we, you know, we talked about that possibility of the UK fight. That's said and done now. You're back in Dublin. And as Jamie said, the spring in your step, a little bit of spike going into this fight, full of confidence as well that you do an even better job this time around. Yeah, definitely. I think I can't be complacent. I'm never complacent. Um, Kate is a great fighter, and I know that all she wants is this revenge. I took her first first defeat, so for me, it's I just got to be better. And me and Jamie have been going over the fight over and over, and I'm kind of sick of watching it because I did make so many mistakes, and some of the bits I cringe at my own self. So uh, I definitely look back at that and think, definitely got more gears in there, and I just got to come back to Dublin, do the business again, and carry on with my career. Talk about the confidence going into this fight. I know you've always been a confident fighter, but that comes through great performances, and I know you feel like you could have performed better, but great victories as well. And although you've beaten great fighters in the past, you know, unified against Mary McGee, and you beat Jessica McCaskill as well, beating someone like Katie Taylor in Dublin, in her backyard, must give you a whole host of confidence to go on and, and perform even better. Yeah, I think um, it was kind of the first fight where I've had where I thought, wow, like I just beat Katie Taylor, whereas I've had other wins where I kind of just it's not really phased me, but beating Katie Taylor, I've always wanted that fight because I thought you beat Katie Taylor, it's kind of you, you've completed boxing because she's such a great fighter, but um, kind of that's, that's been done now. I've beat Katie and now it's kind of, I just got to do it again and just keep, now it's all about me improving and me being better, so everything's had to change for me and change my mindset. I know you say you just focus on yourself, but coming off that defeat and you know, potentially with a, a career on the line, you expect a better Katie Taylor this time? You expect a tougher fight? Yeah, I'm um, definitely expecting a better, better Katie Taylor. I think uh, she, she, she needs this win against me so she can also put it to bed. So I'm making sure that I'm just a lot better because I know that I still had more gears. So um, for me, it's just... The first fight was good, but the second fight's got to be even better, and I've got to be, I've got to be spiteful. I've got, I've got to go back to the old ways where I'm a bit more aggressive and kind of the, the whole atmosphere was new to me. I've never boxed on that big a stage before, and it was, uh, it was a great night. It was a great atmosphere, but obviously I've had that experience now, so I can put that to bed as well and just focus on the main thing, and that's the fight. Now, you know, I'm a promoter. I like to stoke the fire, as always. But a couple of sound bites. And I know you're full of respect for Katie, but you talk about that spitefulness. You know, your words were you're looking to destroy her in this fight, to, to stop her in this fight as well. Do you think that we're going to expect that from Chantel Cameron, a more aggressive Chantel Cameron? We used to see you box like that a lot. Jamie had you boxing against McCaskill. But this time, you know, you are going to... I know you say you don't go for the stoppage, but in your mind... Do you stop Katie Taylor on November 25th? I definitely don't ever go looking for the stoppage, but I know what I've got to do and I have to be more aggressive. I think first fight, I, was, I showed too much respect. I kind of, it was just a weird night because I didn't feel like I had that spite in me and I am better when I have a bit of beef, beef between my teeth and I have that spite. And I've definitely got that now because uh, I know that I've got a massive, massive job on my hands and yeah, I'm definitely going to come out more aggressive and try and win in better fashion. But I don't go looking for the stoppage. If it happens, it happens. And finally, you said you don't, well, you know, having experienced it, that Katie Taylor can't hurt you yeah. in this fight as well. You, you stand by that as well, and it gives you the confidence to be more aggressive and to walk her down, as you did particularly in the early stages of that first fight. Yeah, so Jamie and Nigel always go mad if I say that I can't be hurt, and I, I kind of, like, lose my defence and stuff, so obviously I've got to make sure that I don't take silly shots, but 
no, I can't be hurt and I can't I can walk Katie down. So I've got that confidence and um, just got to make sure that I do move my head a bit more and I do have that defence, but at the same time, like, I'm not worried that I'm going to get stopped. Oh, thank you, Chantel. To the challenger, again, Katie, the first press conference we've ever done where you've come off a loss. Um, we know you don't want that to happen again and however much we can talk about just another fight. I think everybody here knows the importance of this fight. I'm sure you do as well for your own career, for Irish boxing. Absolute, as I said to Ross, must win on November 25th. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I think every, every single fight is a must win. And um, I think the, the attitude for every single fighter is that the next fight is always the most important fight, regardless of what's on the line. But I'm very, very aware that this fight is a must win fight. And um, I'm just very, very grateful to, to have a chance of a rematch. Not every fighter has this opportunity. And so um, I'm grateful that I have a chance uh, to, to rectify things and, and to get things right. And I've been here before, not as a pro, but as a, a, at the elite amateur level where, uh, where I've suffered a, a defeat. And I know how to make the necessary adjustments. I know how to come back strong. And um, at the end of the day, as a Christian, resurrection is built into my mindset. And, it's, uh, it's in my DNA, and um, I'm just excited to have this rematch, and I just can't wait to get this step in there. This time around, for the first time in your career, you are the underdog with the bookmakers. I know you're not particularly bothered what the bookmakers think, but Chantel Cameron, the favourite going into this fight, does that change the mindset? I know the answer's probably no, but it's an interesting dynamic. Yeah, uh, it doesn't matter to me whether I'm seen as the underdog or the favourite, whether my name's on the left-hand side or the right-hand side. Um, it really doesn't doesn't matter to me. My mindset is, is exactly the same. Um, I, we always train to win, and uh, I'm willing to push myself to the brink to do that. I have no problem being in the trenches, and um, the last fight was a fantastic fight. It was very, very close, and we have a chance to, to step in the ring again and do that. And uh, um, I'm very, very confident that if I perform to my best, that I will win this fight. Regardless of who's on the other side, I, I, I think I'll win when I'm at my very, very, very best. A victory over Katie Taylor gives someone a lot of confidence. We've heard that from Chantel Cameron. Mm -hmm. Nothing personal, of course, but I have to ask you about the comments of her being more aggressive and that you can't hurt as well going into this fight. You expect a more aggressive Chantel Cameron with the confidence mm -hmm. from the first fight? Yeah, I think so. I think uh, I'm expecting the best of Chantel. I'm, I'm expecting um, an approved uh, Chantel, and um, I'm obviously uh, expected to, to improve as well. And um, I'm going to have to adjust. I'm going to have to make it... Um, um, a few improvements, but I believe that I will win this fight, and I don't believe that Chantel can hurt me either. And uh, we shared 10 rounds together. It was a great, great fight, but um, we're both stepping into the ring, super confident that we'll come out of the end. She feels that she did a lot of things wrong in that first fight. When you look back at that first fight, particularly the start and the first few rounds of that mm -hmm. fight, do you feel that you un underperformed that night against Chantel Cameron? Um, yeah, I think everybody could see that I wasn't at my very best, but uh, who cares? She, she won the fight. Uh, there's, there's no point in actually talking about the fight, but um, I'm just excited to, to be back in camp, and I have my head down. Um, I'm excited to, to rectify things, like I said. I have a, I have a, a second chance at things, and uh, to have the fight again at home in Ireland is, is, is amazing as well, I think. Even though the fight didn't go my way the last time, um, it was still an amazing night, packed with entertaining fights, and... I think every single time we, we bring big time boxing back to this nation, uh, I think it just embeds boxing back into our culture again and where it belongs. Boxing belongs to the forefront of Irish sport. It is our most successful sport. So to have another chance to have a, a, a big fight here is absolutely so special. And to have a, um, another history making fight, I have a chance to become a 2 weight on the Spirit of Champion. This is, a, this is very, very, this is the biggest fight my, on my career so far. Well, thank you, Katie. Thank you, Chantel, Jamie and Ross. An incredible match-up, an incredible rematch. November 25th at the Three Arena, live and exclusive on the zone. Don't forget, general sale tomorrow. There will also be an announcement, looks like tomorrow, for the entire undercard. Gary Cully will return in a big fight. Thomas Carty, who is here today as well, will be in a big fight after his fantastic performance last time. And a whole host of Irish fighters on a stacked night, November 25th, wherever you are, don't miss it. The undisputed lightweight world championship. Chantel Cameron against Katie Taylor. We'll see you back in Dublin soon. Thank you.